Hey everybody, Day Trader Rockstar here. This is a video to get you started on Friday, uh, February 21st. It's Friday. It's going to be Friday tomorrow. I'm here doing some research, looking up some stops, preparing. This is like the first part of the HPS watch list for tomorrow too. But I wanted to get some setups out for tomorrow, and I'm doing a lot of the research tonight, uh, tonight for the HPS. So you'll get some uh, early early looks at some new stocks. But what I want to do is keep this video under like five minutes. So I want to go kind of fast through these. I have about 10 stocks. I want to get started right now. Um, the Aflac I do like. I like it because it got oversold quickly. Now, it's always better when you have that reversal, that kind of steep Nike check mark. The steeper the turn back up versus like kind of a shallow rounded bottom, but a nice V bottom on these stochastics are good, and this hasn't begun, hasn't given us that yet. But once you start to see that one candle, and it gives us a good V uh, bottom here, you're almost guaranteed a couple follow through days, um, just a couple. I mean, you have a trade there, and the, the, you know sometimes it could be a much bigger move starting off. It could be a, a huge trend changing move, which I believe that it could be. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking at the Aflac, Aflac uh, AFL. <clears throat> And I'm looking at this lower trend line. Um, it has a decent little reversal candle. It's oversold. It looks like it's ready to go back up. So I'm going to watch it tomorrow. Maybe take a, a position in, in the options on this. But that definitely looks interesting. All right. And again, I don't want to get too tied up on here. Um, DT is a new one. This is Dynatrace. Racer brought it to the uh, room. These IPOs, you just don't know where we're going to go. All these IPOs like Coop and Team and Plan. These stocks are $150. They all were down here in, at one point at $20, $30. And throughout the year, they went. This looks like a very promising stock. And um, and it looks okay. I mean, it's continuing to move higher. So adding that to the watch list and and uh, liking that. Now, I got into FlowServe today, FLS. It's another one. This one had a, um, a nice little falling wedge pattern. It was oversold on the on the daily but it's also oversold on the weekly and I like that a lot that gives you uh, you know some time to be in this not really get chopped up too much plus it has a nice little uh, falling wedge pattern and our daily candle today in the first you know going into this week could could mean something you know we could ever um, you know depending on how big this next candle gets tomorrow if we start to make a full rotation up that's gonna give this the weekly probably a turn back up and continue to see that and then we'll see follow through next week so I do like this one a lot um, going into next week. It hasn't really done much, uh, but this looks this could be the beginning of something much bigger. Everything seems to be coiled up here. All right, next one up. EXEL has been acting great. It looks really like it's being accumulated before some news. And there is, the, uh, there is some news coming out. They have some trials due. Today's uh, action was kind of, you know, blah. But you can see a nice move. This is our latest uh you know that's where we liked it right here off that lower trend line it pulled back a little underneath it but then took off and now at this point um i started scaling out of some of my my uh, march calls so i got out on march ca calls and i'm starting to buy some january calls add to the, my january calls on this because i just don't want to you know i want to hold on to it. i think there's bigger news out there i just don't want to lose my uh, time premium if nothing really happens uh, this month um, but that looks good. EXEL, not doing anything with that. OXY, we took that position. And um, it started breaking out today. I'd like to get some follow-through on this. I think we're bottomed here. I think this is a, a good bottom on this, $40. So, you know, it could be a longer-term trade. Oh, the big thing about this one, Tight Sauce pointing out a weekly divergence. And it's not a pure weekly divergence where this low is lower than this low. But you can see that the, you know how steep that turns back up, and we're very close to making a double bottom there. So the, we count that as a divergence. So we have some weekly action on that. So that's also very positive on OXY. All right, I only have like a C S E E. It's right on this. This is in our buy zone here. Uh, long channel. It's right on the lower trend line. I mean, it's coiled up. I'm not adding to it. Net. New position. I told you. Kramer had him on the other day. Didn't do anything. Today it did something. It popped. Um, 
the story looks really good on this. I was hoping to see a, a better close and then a follow through, and maybe even taking out the uh, IPO highs here. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Very strange to see that big pop. It was lagged. Uh, Kramer had him on two two nights ago. The, 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 you know, two days ago, the, the, the day after, it didn't move at all, and today it did. Anyway, uh, looks like a momentum trade. Uh, GRBK. We nailed it. We got in right before this started to take off. We got in. It took off. We have two days. Th one more day of upside on this. I'll so probably end up taking profits on this. GRBK. Still looks good long term. Big fund got into that. That's why we got into it. Um, double D. Little disappointed. I thought we had it today. I thought we were going to start to break out. The market turned over on the uh, coronavirus news, and we started selling off in DuPont reversed also so we did have a little pop this morning it kind of reversed we started popping it and then the market took a crap and this is where this ended up on a lower portion of this big channel um not liking it i mean honestly i wanted to see it come out of this pattern i mean there was some space down here you could you could come down to the lower trend line we could still you know i just don't like the stochastics are rising prices going sideways that's a little bearish um, I'd like to get an opportunity to get take off probably some of these uh, calls I have if I could get some money out of them. We'll see what happens tomorrow. It's just not looking right. But I have a feeling it's going to pop soon. It just might not pop with me. Um, HFC. I did this. Uh, uh, there's a, a nice uh, little divergence here. Holly Frontier Oil and Gas Refiner Marketing. Big reversal candle. You can see the turn back up. Just wanted to point it out. This is the first big candle we had on this. And I like big candles like that. You know, that that uh, stands out. I don't see myself getting into that. HIG, same thing. We had a um, we got that little reversal candle. It showed up on one of my scans. I like that candle a lot. Flushes out, takes out the previous low. It comes back, closes above the 200. And it, we could be holding above the 20. That would make that a nice pure divergence. Um, and it's not that far off of uh, recent highs. So, you know, that does look good. But is it? I've never traded this one before. I don't know if I'm going to just I'll look at it. But, you know, these will, these are great ones to look back at and see how the, the, uh, the setups. And there's that Aflac. I think I started off with that or I was looking at this. This Aflac, I think, is, um, is really nice here. Just because it's oversold. Oversold on that daily. Uh, weekly is kind of uh, hard to say. It's almost oversold, but not quite. I mean, it could turn over and still go down. I'm watching it very close. I think there's a trade here. All right, that's it. It was ended up being an eight-minute video. I wanted to sh shorten it, get some fast stuff out for you. Also, um, we talked about the DuPont and everything else. So, all right. Anyway, I want to get this out so you guys have time to review it. And I'll see you guys in the market tomorrow.